Welcome to Ag Yield's National Database, Add a New Experiment. Click on the Add a New Experiment button below the site. This example is from an unpublished farm data set, so there are no treatments to be inserted. You can type a name for the experiment, otherwise the system will automatically label it as Experiment 1. Start by selecting the measurement details, the units, what was measured, and the number of measurements you have. You can enter the dates in the boxes by typing them with the format required here. We will leave the boxes blank because it is quicker to copy and paste the dates from Excel once the grid is ready. Data source is not mandatory, so we'll skip that for this unpublished data set. The next box is for treatment details like fertilizer or irrigation. However, there are no treatments for this data set, so we will not select any options. Click Save and wait. The system will generate a grid where you will be able to enter the dates and growth rates. Use the right side grey bars to scroll down the page and check how many rows there are. Here the farmer collected data from two cages in the paddock and kept the records separate, so there are 24 rows of growth rate values to be inserted. Note that the dates appear twice with two different values for growth rates for each month. Use the mouse to narrow or widen the columns. If needed, use the filter options by clicking on the grey arrow to the right side of each column heading. If the dates and values are on an electronic spreadsheet such as Excel, use copy and paste or Ctrl C and Ctrl V to bring the data into the Ag Yields grid. Dates can be entered or edited using the calendar pop-up as well. Note that any wrong dates or unusual values will be indicated as a red cell as a warning, and the save option will be disabled. Here the growth rate values were copied and pasted, but you can type into cells as well. Once the growth rate data is entered, the dry matter yield column displays values calculated from the growth rate data and the dates provided. The annual yield column is displayed, but for this data set there are no values to be inserted, so the cells in that column will remain blank. On the top right hand side of the screen, click save to save the data as a draft. Let's go back to the dashboard and download the CSV file to review the data entered. Check the CSV file. Because the data set is still a draft, it is possible to go back and edit any reference, site or experimental details, including the dates and values. You cannot edit a submitted data set. Remember to always click save to save the entry. To submit the data set, click the submit button at the top right hand side of the screen.